The other management practice is identification methods. Uh, we have a number of identification methods which a farmer can uh, choose to use and these are branding, a farmer can choose to do tattooing, uh, a farmer can choose to do ear notching, ear tagging or even painting. The reason why all these are being done is to identify the animal also in terms of record keeping to ensure that each and every animal uh, can, can be identified in a given uh, in that particular farm and for branding what it means branding basically is having a metal a metal uh, object which bears a certain number it being you hit the metal and you press it on the animal and you, the number is left on the on the skin of that animal for example, if this is the back of an animal, this is the back of an animal, a metal is being a hot metal uh, with, for example, a uh, letter T is inserted on the skin of the animal and that letter T is left on the animal's body and it's a permanent mark uh, just to identify that particular animal at that particular point and basically that is the tattoo uh, branding uh, the other identification method is tattooing uh, tattooing uh, whereby an animal is written on the skin uh, for example if this is if this is the head of the of the animal a farmer might decide to to give this particular animal a number and in this case there is no method that will be used uh, it, it will be just a mark that will be drawn on that particular animal's body just to identify that that is animal S. Uh, the other identification method is ear, ear notching. Ear notching basically means cutting the ear using a, a sharp object and for example if this is the ear of the animal if this is the ear a farmer might decide to identify a given animal with the two cuts uh, and the, the ear will assume such a shape and this this, this marks might have certain letters, coded letters, and the farmer can know uh, this animal uh, with such a mark is animal number what. So that is another way of identifying the animal in a given herd. The other method is ear tagging, and this is the common identification method whereby a number, a number is, is tagged on the ear of a given animal example we have a tag here uh, and this is animal letter j or any other name can give, be given can be zembu can be jazzy can be any name to identify that animal and when it comes to record keeping uh, all the records will bear this name even for generations to come uh, and that is the ear tagging painting is uh, for example, if there is mating, mating taking place, uh, painting can be done to know which animal has been served wh by what male. So painting can be done for the back uh, or it can also be done to the female to know whether mating has taken place or even for identification purposes we have by different colors can be em employed to identify uh, the herd. When carrying, when carrying out this identification method, uh, it is important to consider the animal welfare and the most used and also uh, the most uh, uh, method which considers the animal welfare is the, is the ear tagging. It is easy to, to do it and it's less painful to the animal. 